church. Freak world. It is. Thank you to Shop Envy for sponsoring this episode. Do I need to do it? No, you're never allowed to do it. You, I <laughs> swear to God, you never can Don't do it. Don't ever clap in front of a microphone. If you, if Damn I it. see you, if I see you in Grub's Tavern, what is? Wait, I no the sandwich the sandwich shop. It was called something else. No, this is okay. a Rain Wilson on Tim and Eric's yeah. show. This is what this is. These are all lost on me because I don't. Uh, yeah, I, know. I know. It's so funny. Is it? Expand. Tell us about. Describe well, the skit because I think it's something that probably translates <laughs> to you just describing it out loud. Yeah, I see what you're doing here. <laughs> I see what you're doing. Um, so it's um, it's funny. It's on a green screen and they take Rain Wilson's face and they cut it in half and they make it small. So it's actually quite funny. And he says, if I see you in Grub's Tap, it's funny. So it's like in Beetlejuice. You probably haven't seen Beetlejuice. That's actually, I have Manona oh, okay. Riders in it. Yep. Correct. So, so sh the shrunken head guy. In the she doesn't play the shrunken head guy. She plays Lydia. What's her full name? This is Beetlejuice quiz hour right now. I think it's um, Brackensmith. Yep. It's a lot of people argue that that was like not a good an name approachable choice. movie last name and, and they really did yeah, it right and tim burton said no no tim burton yep i don't know about that that's crazy though <laughs> i love the part where the arms come out with the circus oh yeah and a fun fact about that that ties it back to tim burton is when he has the little doo -doo -doo thing on the top mm -hmm. uh jack skellington's head is the very top of the well, cool circus thing so wow well we all have a little jack skellington on us well enough you know spooky season's coming up Spooky season is coming up. Get a lot more in there. Well, that was a sex joke. Oh, I get it. I don't want to fuck Jack Skellington though. That would be bad. I have a friend that kind of looks like him. If you had to have sex with one character from Nightmare Before Christmas, <laughs> who would it be? I think Sally's probably the best choice. She's the most like level-headed. Yeah, and like normal and human. Um, I would say the uh, werewolf. I don't remember that one, but that checks out for you. Yeah, he wears flannel. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, so. Well, it's on brand. They made a song about it. Be like Jack and Sally if you want to. Yeah. So, look that up. I was, I'm sorry, this, we're, we're, we'll get into it in a second, but I just have to share this memory of okay. childhood where I would, I don't know where this is going to go in anywhere. Uh, <laughs> That's what you want for a podcast. Yeah, you want to yeah. just kind of tell stories that you think might go, be funny? <laughs> um, I played on a club field hockey team growing up and we would go to tournaments in like other states or whatever and the coach would rent like a big van so the whole team could be in the van and get driven to and from the field and one tournament i was in at my really emoist and i remember sitting in the back doing the thing where you're listening to your music like looking out the window and God. listening to that song <laughs> and being like i miss you oh my god anyway anyway <laughs> welcome to the corn corner episode six incredible yeah this episode we're going to talk about food we're going to talk about a corporation that we love mcdonald's mac mac do mcdonald's now a lot of people know of it a lot of people know them for their hamburgers and their french fries yeah and they've been making a good french fry hamburger product for a long long time although their first product they ever offered was a hot dog is that real yeah it's true did they have ketchup and mustard on it? I think they were like, they had all that. It was like the works or something. When did they, the works? Yeah, what is know. that? Like a, like a pickle, uh, uh, a onion, pickle. Uh, sport, like a chopped pickle, like a relish. I don't think on the, the original McDonald's hot dog Let's had a it was probably just a, It was pickle? probably just a fucking. Did you say sport, sport pepper? What is a, I think you said sport pickle. No, it's a pickle. I don't know what that means. What is that? I What's a sport pickle? Oh, it's it's when, like a pickle that's made. It's you know how you get orange slices at the at your athletic events to re to, to electrolyte yourself to get a little sugary. I think that happens to children. It's it's I don't that think it happens. pickles. <laughs> <laughs> There's dips in Gatorade. Yeah, it's like in a bag. In, in Gatorade. I understand. In college, there was actually a place that would put pickles in Kool Aid. That is a thing, actually. I've heard. Yeah, I've never tried it. 
Maybe we need to on the corn corner. It's a little salty sweet. Yeah, and you love that. I do. Not me. I don't care about it that much. I'll yeah, go through. You're not a big sweet person. No, I want them separated. Yeah. If I want sweet, I want it to be sweet. But if there's salt on my cookie, no, thank you. What? I don't like need that. and salt? Don't need it. Don't want it. Seems weird. Um. Okay, so McDonald, known for burger, known for french fry. It's a great place. Yeah, great business model. It's a great business model. I'm, I'm taking this off. All it's right. so warm in here. <laughs> um, I think the first fact that everyone's going to know about this is the business is actually primarily about real estate. That's oh. some YouTube videos going around about this. Like, Did you like know this? they make more money because of the amount of buildings they own? Or what do you mean? Yeah, they own the property that the franchise is on, and then they charge rent to the franchisees. Oh. So that's how, like, the corporation makes the majority of their money. Holy shit. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. It's, Weird. It just kind of went viral on... It's kind of like a pyramid scheme in a way. It's a little bit like it. Yeah. And actually leads me to the next thing. This is not a pyramid scheme, but we are allowing people to buy into episodes of the Corn Corner and to get in on the ground floor. Yep. If you ever wanted to be your own boss and own a little slice or stalk of the Corn Corner, now is your time. A kernel of the Corn Corner. A kernel. We're still workshopping the name. It might be stalk. I think the kernel might have forced me. We're going to work that out. Re- but Regardless, it's certainly a thing you can do. So you can own your own Corn Corner <laughs> podcast. And, <laughs> and you can do it on your own time. My mic's got lower. <laughs> Did it? Hold on. There you go. Hey, look, we just got these. It's episode six. I felt like a cool official podcaster by lifting that up myself. Yeah, it was cool. <laughs> um. So, yes. So McDonald's makes the majority of their money through that. And it's not through the game of, of Monopoly. They don't do Monopoly anymore, I don't think. I swear they someone I follow someone who in Australia was posting about them doing the Monopoly thing. Maybe it's not here, but maybe it's in Australia only. That would be what a great business model. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> they do do different things regionally. Yeah. Like what? Give me some examples. They add less more and less salt to the french fries. Is that for real? I swear to god based on where you are regionally. I'm so gullible. I'm like, is that Yeah, you'll believe anything. Yeah. But this is real. So I, I'm, and it's not like you have like the statistics, but I'm so curious about that. So like where, who, who, where's the saltiest French fry? I don't, I, I would imagine it's America, but I don't know specifically, but I watched a video on YouTube the other day because I actually am fascinated, not yeah. ironically by industrial food. Yeah. It's some, it, it blows my mind. Yeah. And yeah. So I watched one cause I was so curious how McDonald's makes their French fries and, um, yeah, they they said that they do different amounts of salt based on where they are. Because somebody really was intriguing. like, you know, there's so much salt in a McDonald's French fry, and there's actually not that much salt. Now, granted, the USDA salt requirements are quite higher than what people should yeah. have. And what but, other countries would probably say. Yeah. yeah. But it's still, it's not like a gazillion yeah. milligrams of salt. It's probably not good. Not good for kids. No, it's not good for kids. I was reading, but this isn't, we're just tangenting. I was reading about McDonald's just last night uh, after I took my sleep meds. Um, That's not how they're supposed to work. Well, you know, you got to let them hit. So I don't, <laughs> you, you got to sink in. Um, I don't think reading about McDonald's is how you do that. But hey, who am I to say? This is topical with Folsom coming up in a way because San Francisco tried to outlaw Happy Meals because of how unhealthy they were for children. Wow. And like had specific guidelines for the nutritional stuff that that a, a kid's meal had to align with and mcdonald's was like well we can't not pull that off but then they did some lawyer bullshit and yeah. they got to still have happy meals in san francisco wow so that story but that's such a great end to that story because i was concerned yep now growing up did you have happy meal yeah so it would be we would get mcdonald's after a doctor's appointment or after something bad happened <laughs> Same. I wonder how many people have that same experience. Yeah. Like it was the consolation prize. Yeah. Yeah. That's, you know, not great. Um, it's a weird training. Yeah. Well, the, happens. the whole thing with McDonald's is training kids. So it's funny how much goes yeah. into that because they're, they're 
with the happy meal and the toys, it's, it's like training kids that they get like rewards at this place and training them into like yeah. return consumership as a McDonald's customer. Um, growing up, do you remember any of the toys? Like, I remember most of them from before they ended their partnership. Well, before Disney ended their partnership with McDonald's. So you remember that there'd be like, which that happened in like the early 2000s. It was like a big deal. Um, <laughs> I'll believe it. Um, they would do like the, like a toy with movie release. Oh yeah. So like there was like, I, I specifically remember some like Tarzan stuff and, and Mulan stuff. And you love Tarzan. I do love Tarzan. Um, and we know the Mulan stuff works into like nowadays because of fucking Rick and Morty. Cause they really did the Szechuan sauce thing with Mulan also. I don't know what. Uh, I don't want to get into it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even like Rick and Morty. I didn't. Even, that that was my first thing. Was like I didn't even know you watched Rick and Morty. When I Rick and Morty is like the the Invader Zim of now, right? I think people would be so no Invader Zim fucking ruled actually. Yeah, so that's, people that's that like fine. Rick and Morty like Invader Zim. Yeah, is yeah. Fine. And I did. I watched the first two seasons, and I still was smoking weed when the first one was out. So wow. it like made sense. Anyway, what was Back to Happy Meals because I like it as a topic, and I'm probably going to get one after this podcast. I have plans for that. Um, can't, can't wait. <laughs> what was your like Happy Meal order? But when we were kids, there was like two options. So yeah, no three. It, it was just like I want a Happy Meal, but there was like burger, cheeseburger, or chicken nuggets. That's actually a great question. I didn't like cheeseburger because I had in my mind that the cheese was weird, which is the whole thing we can get on in a second because it's not weird, but um. Isn't it just sliced cheese? Like Amer like well, you know. I thought American cheese was weird. Oh, okay. It freaked me out. Yeah. Um, so I would just get a hamburger. And also my mom would get a plain hamburger. No cheese. Any toppings at all. No, oh sorry. She would get the the ketchup and the onion. Yeah. But not but no cheese. cheese. Yeah, yeah, she would just get a plain hamburger. And then she put French fries on it. Oh, like under the bun. Yeah. What like what, in between what, the buns. Yeah. In between, like where the burger goes. Yeah. Yeah. So not on top. Not on top. Exactly. Generally, it's bun, some form of meat. Generally. Yeah. And then a then another bun. Now, what if you took the fries and you staked the burger? She never did that. Okay. Yeah. Seems like a more creative avenue. It does. And um, so sorry, my mother wasn't creative enough for you, but well, she did the best she could with what she had. Bless her soul. <laughs> never forget. Um. Now she's eating McDonald's in the sky. <laughs> talking about she's deceased but fun she's fact, a good lady one of the first times <laughs> ren and i hung out in real life like really hung out well it was the second time it was what I, did we do i helped you move oh yeah like me and brad helped you move yeah and, that was and good but i was sitting in the car with her and another person and, and, she, and i was in the back seat and she turned around and was like hey do you know both our moms are dead <laughs> And I was like, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Like, I barely knew you. It felt like I was like, oh, my God. Yeah. Anyway, back to the burger. Did, you, like did you get any other toppings? No, because McDonald's never felt like a place, and it still doesn't feel like a place where you can add toppings. Oh, no. It like comes the, how it is. So if you just get a burger, it doesn't, uh, not cheese, just a burger. It doesn't come with the, the ketchup, mustard, onions, pickle. It does default. Yeah, yeah, but you're not gonna add toppings. No, to no, no. But this you like five those. guys. You like those. Yeah, yeah. Well, I see, love them. Brad well, well doesn't like mustard, so he'll like say to me that whatever. doesn't seem ethical, or it doesn't seem it doesn't seem it doesn't seem you're not respecting what's going on. Yeah, just get the hamburger. Yeah, you know what I mean. It was put together in that way. It was designed like that for a reason. Yeah, you know what I mean. He has a plan for us, and that's why McDonald's slogan is "Have it your way." I don't, I, I don't think that that is true. I think you just said that to make me angry. This is so funny because you are so weird about movies. And this is something I'm, I have huge burger thoughts. Are you actually never, really offended right now? No, I'm not offended, but I am. But Brad's saying no mustard. Get over it. Brad likes mustard. That's the thing about Brad. He likes mustard. What fast food place is have it your way? That's Burger King. Is it? Yeah. McDonald's says I'm loving it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it is Burger King. That's even more offensive. See, I remember liking Burger King as a kid. But the reason why I didn't want to do this episode for fast food and yeah. I wanted to make it McDonald's yeah. is because I wanted to do one on Burger King, too. Okay, that's fair. 
And then now it's going to be a whole series of them because we have to do like Taco Bell then. Yeah, well, we do one of these a week, so we're going to burn through <laughs> topics. <laughs> through the fast food topics. Um, All right, back, let's get back to some McDonald's so, hot ticket. Well, I want to get back to talking about the hamburger. The thing I like about the ketchup and things on there is like how warm it all gets. Yes. It's really fun. And the chopped onion, it's brilliant. Yeah. I think that the just plain McDonald's hamburger is one of the best things ever made. I feel, I do feel like that. I like a cheeseburger, but I would, sure, I would eat same, them. I would same. Eat <laughs> I would see like how sweaty I am. You are, honestly, you're wet. I'm, <laughs> you are damp. It's very warm in here. It is. Um, anyway, I, I do agree. And I think like there's something about the reliability of a McDonald's little, little puck burger. Yeah. Well, like, specifically, the other thing I really like is that they have a combo that is two of the burgers. Oh, yes. That was my go to as a yeah, kid. When too. I got past Happy Meals, that was like the thing. Me too. But it's, I think it's so cool and self aware of them. Yeah. It sounds like a joke. It's not. No, it's no, so self aware of them to be one. like, yeah. The, and there's this place in LA that was really popular. It was called Burgers Never Say Die. And they, like, right when the smash burger thing hit, where yeah. it was like these eighth ounce patties that just got smashed to oblivion they their slogan was always order two yeah and um that's so smart yeah it's brilliant yeah and <laughs> that's why that's why we're doing that with the corn corn always watch two yeah anyway it's so cool at mcdonald's that i never even connected the two together yeah I, I wouldn't have thought of it as like a brilliant marketing strategy but like it kind of is yeah um now, something else that's weird to me is the idea of the Big Mac having three pieces of, of bread. Yeah. And also where the where the cheeseburger slash hamburger is so consistent. Like, I feel like no matter where you go to get. Yeah. Like, you're, it's going to be the same experience. But Big Macs are like all over the fucking place. Yeah. Like any were, of the other ones. Yeah. <laughs> well, the fact that McDonald's is so consistent is incredible. We always talk about what I think we talked about this on the podcast before, but what American food is. Yeah. And a lot of people say it is American food is Chinese American food. That is, we, th we didn't talk about this on the podcast. We talked about just us. And I was like, please talk to me more. Cause yeah. you know so much about this and it's really interesting. But I would, I, I think there's another argument to be made that American food is industrialized food. Yeah. Like McDonald's. Yes. Which is not great, you know, but the idea that McDonald's has figured out how to make the French fries work everywhere is incredible. And, and I, the chicken nuggets and things. It all works like super into America because like the first McDonald's drive-in was made for like military bases. Yeah. So like that's like the American military industrial complex. <laughs> like Yeah. And, and the time period even came when industrial food was coming into yeah. culture. TV dinners, comfort foods, quick foods. um, Cheap foods. Cheap foods, yeah, yeah. Things that you could just put in the oven and then it was because women were going to work. Yeah. And they had to also still provide for the like the family in that way. Yeah. Yeah. So it was like it's wild how that all works together. And I feel like there's a thing you pointed out last night, which I didn't know that McDonald's fries are vegan now. They are. Because that used to be the whole thing is that they were not. They were like sprayed in beef fat or something. Yeah. They, well, they used to be cooked in beef tallow. Yeah. And that's like it was they were delicious for that reason. Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> now they figured it out with like three spices and they're Ooh. vegetarian. They're oh, okay. not. They're not vegan. I wonder. I think so I, there must I, be some dairy whatever. Yeah. Thing. I think it's like a know. like a milk powder, yeah. like a some kind of enzymes or something. Well, now I'm um, like, so another thing that I saw recently was. The Mythbuster Grant. R.I.P. Yes. Yeah. Never forget. Yeah. Um, he, McDonald's hired him to do like a Mythbusters thing. Oh. Going into the factory and debunking the idea of pink slime. Oh. Okay. And that they just take whole animals and put them in the grinders. Like, yeah. <laughs> um, I thought that was a brilliant thing on McDonald's side. Yeah. Because... Do you remember the pink slime stuff? Yes. Crazy. And I, and I feel and like we all real. knew it wasn't true. And no. they used footage from like the Teletubbies to be like, this is what yeah. McDonald's nuggets are made of. And it was like, no, they're not. It, like, was, a, it was a really cool video. And um, yeah, I just if I was McDonald's, I'd just be like, 
yes, yeah, chicken nuggets. What else could it be, idiots? Yeah, it's just chicken. That's the, I mean, it's that's ground the up. Slogan. It's probably not the best, but like. Well, no, I mean, it's 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 I watched it's mass video. produced. Yeah, it's mass yeah. produced. It's just white meat chicken that's it's ground up. Yeah, and shaped into the four signature shapes. Yes, I forget what it is. It's Name them: boot, bell, bone, and there's I forget what the other one is. Mm. One's just like a circle. Yeah, I think it's just called circle. Hopefully, um, we're gonna see because I think we're probably gonna get a little. Chimka nugget. Yeah, probably. We're, we're definitely going to McDonald's after this. So we'll now, something else that fascinates me about McDonald's is when a burger has lettuce and when it doesn't have lettuce. Mm-hmm. What's your preference? What a great question. I want I want how they're going to do it. I don't particularly oh, have a preference. Like, a, like, like a whole piece or a shreddus situation. Well, I guess zooming out of a McDonald's talk, shreddus <laughs> yeah. is... Is my favorite. Yes. I like that. Yeah. But at McDonald's, they don't do that. It's well, they just, do with the Big Mac. It's shredded lettuce? Yeah. Wow. Oh. Yeah. See, this is why we got to go. I think it's the only... That may, mm, there may be other ones, but I think the Big Mac's the only one with shredded lettuce. But there's other ones that have just piece a piece of lettuce. Yeah. Um, And it's just wild because, like, could you imagine having a classic hamburger with lettuce on it? Sounds disgusting. So weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, So, so goofy. Like... <clears throat> the the mcdonald's cheeseburger and hamburger was not meant like no. none of that other like no no big onion pieces it's like maybe that's like a whole thing is the approachability of it in even in terms of physicality because like there's nothing to be to bite into that's gonna like slide out this or is, like this is such a gotta this is my favorite episode <laughs> um it's that's huge honestly because if you take a a double double animal style from In N Out. Yeah. Which, in my opinion, is the best fast food hamburger. Everyone right now in the comments is saying, I hate In N Out. It sucks. I think. And to them, what I say true. is this you need to order a double double animal style, or you can get a single or whatever, but it has to be animal style. And you gotta get both kind of onions. If you're not doing that, then you're wasting your time. Caramelized and raw, you mean? Yes. Okay. Both. Now, the thing is that if you do do a double double with that, it's a messy burger. Oh, yeah. Like it's dripping all over the place. Yeah. yeah. And I would say on the threshold of like from McDonald's classic burger, which is like not messy whatsoever. Yeah. To a animal style burger from In-N-Out. Crazy. The, yeah. Yeah. So I have a dream of opening up a burger restaurant. Yeah. Uh, yes. Talk about it. I will. Okay. <laughs> and one of the hardest things is that we've like my friend Brooks and I have figured out the flavors we really like. Yeah. But getting a burger that you you can wait to eat like on a car ride home and yeah. open up when you get home and not be a complete mess or when you eat it, it doesn't drip everywhere. Yeah. Is incredibly difficult. Yeah. Because of the amount of fat in the meat and then the sauce, it's going to melt and it's going to run a little bit. It's true. And then the more water that's in all the produce that goes on the burger. Yeah. It's been, it's like, that's honestly the hardest thing to uh, figure out. I, I just feel like there's, there's not even produce necessary besides a pickle. No, um, well, lettuce the raw isn't, onion, but no, but lettuce is really important. It adds like a crunch that you really need. But what, but you like the McDonald's burgers without the lettuce. So what's really the truth? Well, Cam, I'm saying that I think it's two different experiences because I think the McDonald's classic burger is an experience in and of itself. There's no other burger in the world that tastes like that with that dollop of ketchup in the middle that gets yeah. really hot. And right? that, that weird onion. Yeah. Relish. That is in and of itself an experience. I wouldn't say that that's the best burger in the world by any no. means, but I would say it's one of my favorite culinary experiences to eat that hamburger. And you know what we what, what would ruin it? A slice of tomato. Absolutely it would because a <laughs> tomato destroys the structural integrity of most sandwiches. The exception to this is a BLT. Well, that's, it's, you know, in the name has to be in there. Now, I'm stealing this from Kenji Lopez Alt, who I love. Okay. Now, Kenji said that a BLT is not a bacon sandwich. It's a tomato sandwich. And I would agree with Kenji fully because the majority of the tomatoes that we eat are out of season and they taste like shit. Yeah. And they're refrigerated and they're disgusting. Yes. Yeah. And they get mealy. Yeah. But if you take a really good tomato, salt and pepper, mayo, some bacon... And then some I, lettuce. I frankly want one right now. That's one of the best sandwiches in the fucking world. <laughs> Did you ever see Harriet the Spy? No. Uh, no. Oh, okay. Well, she eats tomato and mayonnaise sandwiches. And like. That's so great. As a, yeah. As a kid growing up, I was like, that's disgusting. And then like as an adult, I was like, 
kind of kind of slaps if it's a good tomato. It she kind of knows really, what she's yeah. doing. Well, in the south, in, in New Orleans, we get Creole tomatoes, and we used oh. to cut them and put them on a just plate and eat them raw. What's the distinction? It's just like a, I don't really know. Uh, I mean, I think everything in Louisiana is just like cold Creole. I don't. Yeah. I don't know. But they. It was a certain. It was when they were in season, they were good. I mean, some of the best things we ever had. Yeah. But we also wouldn't get them from the grocery store. Yeah. You get we like would get the them farmers market or something. Well, we would just grow them. Oh, okay. And um. Or get them from friends or something. Huh. So simpler time. Yeah. So that's my thing about tomatoes on hamburgers, is that from In and Out when I get a double double, yeah. I get no tomato on it. Absolutely. Because with that tomato, everything's just sliding around, and in my opinion, it's not adding. No. It's not adding. Well, they don't taste like anything. So. Well, that's the thing. It's it's adding a lot of liquid. It's not adding any of the you know salt crunch. It has a little acid, I suppose, but you got so much fucking pickle in there. Like, it's just not really needed. <laughs> and I think that there's a better delivery vehicle of tomato flavor, if you will. What, just with ketchup? Yeah, yeah. but like, even at that point, it's just like MSG. You know, yeah. just put some MSG in the, God, it's in the spread. Delicious. So, Honestly. I want to get back to McDonald's. Now, <laughs> I, I want to say this about okay. McDonald's. If I were to go to McDonald's and get like, uh, I don't even know the McDonald's lore like the menu is what oh, it's how called it evolved the menu. over time no i don't know the current menu really oh nor but do I. if i were to get a burger from mcdonald's i'd probably keep the tomato on it like if it, you bought if you got one of the ones that has a tomato on it yes okay. because those burgers are quite i think that those burgers are manufactured and designed to be eaten in a car oh, so they're yeah. not going to be messy so even with the tomato you kind of still need it to to make it not a desert oh, in your mouth. Oh, I understand. Yeah. So I think that that's like I would probably still get that tomato on the burger, but an In and Out double double animal style no tomato like that's already like that's not made to eat and drive. Now Whereas I, want, I think McDonald's is. I want you to get when we go later to get a burger with tomato on it because I'm so curious about it now. Like I've never in all my McDonald's thing, I think I've only ever gotten the two cheeseburger meal. A Big Mac, Chicken Nuggy, Chim Gun Nugget. Yeah, and sometimes the tenders when they had those, which yeah. I oh no, they had the Southern Child style, Southern style <laughs> chicken sandwich. It's a mouthful. Uh, they really I, get you with that one. Yeah, and that was really good. I don't know if you remember that. No, it was just like it was literally the, the simplicity of it, and it was perfect. It was just like the bun with like a shit ton of whatever fake butter on it, and then like the chicken, the breaded chicken thing, so, sounds great. and just pickles. Like it was just that, and then pickles on the on the chicken. Sounds like a riff on the Chick Fil A chicken sandwich. We hate them, obviously, but it sounds like a riff on that. Maybe, but don't they put a bunch of shit on theirs? No, no, no. That's oh. one of the things that I think makes it so good is its simplicity. Oh, okay. It kind of sits in a steamer and has a pickle, and that pickle will adhere to the bun and yes. kind of bleed through to the bun a bit. Yeah, it's really weird. It's one of those like intangibles that you can't ever recreate. Yeah, like, yeah. Well, it was similar to that then, I guess. But it, a lot more butter, I would say. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that stuff's good. Butter tastes good. That's yeah. the thing about it. But those are the only, and French fries, obviously. Those are the only things I've ever tried there. So I've never gotten, like, your quarter pounder or, like, they have all those, like, crazy new sandwiches, like, with grilled chicken or the burgers with barbecue sauce and, like, I the, don't. That's one of the funny things is that when I look at the McDonald's menu, I never want to adventure. No. Granted, I don't eat McDonald's. Often at all, like I, I still view it as a treat or something yes. special. I'm out really, really late. Yeah. Or on like a road trip and it's like, gotta, yeah, got to do something, whatever. Um, But I'm I'm still not going to venture into no. anything but the hamburger. Yeah. Or are you still only getting a, a hamburger as opposed to a cheeseburger? That is a great question. Um, do you like clammy? You are so warm right now. Oh, God. <laughs> it's hot in here. It is. Good thing we're going to get a McDonald's after this. Yeah, it's going it's to so, sit really well. When did he stop doing the farm stuff is my question. When did what? When did he stop doing farm stuff inside the burger game is my question. Like, <laughs> I had to think about that for a second. I was like, what, yeah. are, you ta what are you talking about? Um, you when know... When did he stop doing the farm? Old McDonald's. It was probably when did so, he stop? Do you know? Do you know? <laughs> do you know the the book Animal Farm? No, you don't. 
No. It was like required reading. And, and I didn't okay, well, it's a it's about um, animals that, in so many words, kind of like gain consciousness and start to act human, quote unquote. Okay. Um, and there's like a saying that's like, like four legs good, two legs bad. So like walking on four legs means you're good, and if oh you walk on God. two legs, whatever, like that. I don't. I think it's that way. I don't think it's reversed. Anyway, my point is that the 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 storyline goes old mcdonald had a farm animal farm mcdonald's old mcdonald animal uprising kill the animals yes. and make them into burgers and chicken eggs. <laughs> <laughs> mcdonald's wow i bet that that is actually the trajectory yeah and now we're here talking about it and it's it's through every phase of life wow that they keep you on the mcdonald's storyline it's amazing so it's very you know um I think that, so I want to unveil something. You didn't even answer the question, but that's fine. No, move on. Let's, I, I want to bring it out. I like a cheeseburger sometimes, but here's my thing actually, is that I I think that with the classic hamburger, it's so small yeah. that that cheese is, is really big and overpowering, even oh, okay. though it's so mild. It doesn't add a lot for me. Mm-hmm. So actually, I kind of will just get hamburger for that. But like on another burger, like I'm cool with the cheese. I just don't, it's always kind of cold. Yeah. Which is, lets you taste more of the cheese when the cheese is yeah. cold, which you can do at In N Out. You can get cold cheese on yeah. the burger. There's so many things you can do there that are like customizing. I've, um, I've never had just a hamburger from McDonald's. So I think maybe today. Yeah. Today we're going to do a first tries maybe situation for me. Yeah. Um, I also had a lot of weird sensory type of things mm-hmm. with McDonald's. Like, it kind of grossed me out in some ways, but it didn't in other ways. Yeah. I don't really understand. There was a lot of weirdness there. Oh, as no, a kid. I fully understand. There's something about like the meat patty that you were like, yeah, this is wrong, right? Yeah. So, but you'd still be like, but it's delicious. So, yeah. So, yeah. I don't know. I kind of do both. Yeah. In and Out always will get cheese. And I keep comparing In and Out because, in my opinion, In and Out's the it's burger so place that is the furthest away from fast food as you can get. Yeah. Not because of quality of ingredients, but because of style of eating. Yeah. They offer a very, very small menu. The majority of the items are not really good driving to work items. No. And then also, like, the process of getting in and out is not quick. No. So I think it's It's a good... messy. Yeah. Whereas, like, KFC has, like, items, like, all these different fast food places are, like, fast food places. Yeah. And I feel Um, like they're geared towards different, like, I don't, like, KFC is like you're feeding your family. Yeah. Or like McDonald's even, whatever. But in and out is just. When you, me, and Raven were in the car and we were driving maybe back. We were driving home, yeah. God, and then we stopped at KFC. That was the first time at KFC in probably, honestly, probably 10 years. KFC may have been the way down. Either way, we were on a road trip. Holy shit. To and from L.A., to Seattle. Honestly, that, incredible. Yeah. KFC always is really good. But we, we also have, got in and out that road trip. I'm going to have a whole episode about yeah. it. We will. We're going to do a whole pantheon of fast food stuff. Okay. Everyone's been asking about this. Sound for, effect. For sound our, effect. you can do a sound effect. Yeah. For our audio only listeners, we're holding up a banner and it says the corn corner with Cameron Wren. And now we're waving at the camera. Now we got this Hold banner made. Hold it tall. So sorry. We got this banner made. Okay. And then, um, <laughs> and it's, it's great banner. Um, we're going to hold it up, um, at different places that we go and do the corn corner live. I like I just that. I to show everybody this. It hides our bodies and we're just heads. So the, au- yeah. so the audio only listeners know it's just heads right now. It's just heads. It um, smells a little bit. It smells like vinyl. Is that what it is? This is made out of a high grade vinyl. I'm unfamiliar. Yeah. It's a high grade vinyl. Did you like how I just dropped it? Yeah, you didn't help. But you know what? I'm tired. I know you are. Um <laughs> now <laughs> Is it is it uh cash crop time? It might be cash crop okay. time. I think it's your turn. I've done it the past two. Yeah. Now for this cash crop, we actually have a very fun thing. We have a sponsor that's not Frigley Farms. Your little hands are so Moist. I'm so sorry. Yeah. They don't it's call me though. Lammy Cammy for nothing. <laughs> they do. They do they call, call me that. <laughs> Has anybody called you Glammy Cammy? Yeah, no, for real. What did they win? Like my a lot of my life. I've always the sweatiest little palms. Who but people say wow. Yeah. 
I'm gonna, I don't feel like I'm, I don't want to say that because I feel like it's bullying and I feel like it's a little dead Amy. <laughs> yeah, it feels a little non gender affirming. Yeah. But speaking of things that are gender affirming. So this sponsor is shopnb.com for today, for this episode, which is incredible. Yes. I'm an actual real life user of shopnb.com. As am I. And you are too. Because it's, it's super accessible for not just, I'm not a big just like sex toy buyer. Yes. But they, what I like about them, tell me, legitimately, I know, is that they sell gender affirming products and not just like dildos and stuff. Uh, they have like packers and STPs and binders, and then they have tucking stuff. They've got, they it's, got actually, the whole it's actually really cool. Yeah. I, and I also, do think it's really cool. <laughs> I like the website too. It's very aesthetically pleasing. It doesn't feel like a gross, like, Angel fet fire. life thing. Yeah. 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 Like a guy in his basement was like, yeah. Do you, do you use Linux? <laughs> no, I don't. Jared. No, Jared, I do not. <laughs> now put your pronouns in your bio. Shopping for sex toys can sometimes feel overwhelming or dysphoric, but ShopMB.com aims to create a better experience for the queer, trans, and gender non-conforming community. As a black and trans-owned sex toy company, the cuties at ShopNB are sensualists with a mission. 2% of all proceeds are donated to organizations focusing on improving the lives of queer and trans people of color. What's more, ShopNB.com is a carbon negative company and every sale funds renewable energy and forest conservation projects. Visit ShopNB.com, S-H-O-P-E-N-B-Y.com and use the code GENDERREVEAL at checkout to get 10% off and bring more pleasure and affirmation to your life. So we're talking about McDonald's. They're clammy too. They're so clammy. Clammy candy. Um, I don't, I don't like No, it's that. bad. <laughs> um, so we've been talking about McDonald's, which is quite meat forward, but there are vegetables on the menu. And it reminded me of a thing that happened recently. You and I were in the airport. Yes. And you came back to our station at the airport with a bunch of treats. And you brought this. Yeah. And I'll put this picture up. But for the audio <laughs> listeners, it is a vegetable plate. The treats were not for me. Which has about maybe, <laughs> I want to say, 12 and a half carrots, about 10 celeries, and two large cherry tomatoes. That were suspicious in color. Yeah. Quite large, too. Yeah. No, I just thought this was so funny to me because then at about 8 o'clock in the morning, you were eating... These carrot sticks. With cold brew. Yes, with cold brew. <laughs> and you didn't touch the celeries. Yeah. Who would? Who now, would touch the celeries yeah. raw? Like, or mm -hmm. without a dip? Yes. Yeah. This is one of the items I'd see at the airport and I'd be like, why? I would never get that. So you know what happened. Tell me about it. I'm curious. So I was thrown off because usually when I fly out of SeaTac and come to LA, yes. I'm at the end gates on the other end. So like there's the two ends of end gates, you know what I mean? So I confuse cake pop. Yeah, with <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, no. But there's a caribou coffee on that end. I remember. Yeah, and they have a veggie pack, but it comes with a red pepper like hummus. Dip oh, thing. that's great. That's a hummus pack in my opinion. So yeah, it's like a pretty small cup, but it's it's like enough for. Yeah. And it also has cucumber slices in it. That's huge great. selling point for me. I always disregard the tomatoes. Yeah, nobody Disgusting. wants those. Yeah. Um, but I was like, you know, same difference. Cafe Dart. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and got it or whatever. And then I realized when I got at the checkout that there was no sauce in it of any sort. And then the lovely woman at the counter, who they were awesome at that. Anyway, uh, was like, do you want ranch? And I was like, no, I don't want ranch at 8 a.m. Like, what is yeah. this? <laughs> but I, so I said, no, thank you, whatever. And then I was like, well, fuck me. Now I just have like these plain ass vegetables. But I do like carrots. Me like, too. Without a dip. That's yeah. fine. Celery. Bad. Never. Bad with a dip. Yeah. But but a means to a, I said this to Abel, a means to a fibrous end. I will eat them. <laughs> And like, you know, with the chicken wing, we love a celery. Oh, yeah. But that's just a vehicle for blue cheese. Yeah. Are you a blue cheese or a ranch? Ranch. Okay. And also, you have eaten ants on log. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen you do it. I was also talking about this with Abel. 
And it brings up a cutest memory ever of of Mike making me ants yeah. on the log in a little Tupperware for like a work lunch. <laughs> it's so cool. But it was cute. it was fire ants on the log, which I prefer. What is fire ants on the log? Craisins instead of raisins. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so cute. Um so Oh, so that actually helps me a lot with the vegetable thing because I thought you were psychotic. Because <laughs> of the time of, of, at which I purchased it? No, just that you purchased in it. In general. Yeah, because well, it's, it, it's just carrot, celery, and two tomato. Yeah. And I, that's... It's hard for me. It, the airport is one of the most tempting places to get terrible yeah. food. And sometimes I'm fine with indulging when I'm like returning from a long trip and I'm you yeah, know, but when whatever. You're starting it. Yeah, no. but I'm just starting and I want to go off on the right foot, whatever, and make sure I have the 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 sweets allocated to eating my little biscoff cookies on my flight. Yeah. And also whatever that chocolate bar was that we ate at the when we got off. Anyway, yeah, your sister really helped us. Yeah, just thank God, honestly. Uh so yeah, I try we, to keep it healthy. I understand. It's my initial airport choice. I would just go no nothing. That's until like a home. Worse. But then you had that bar. But that bar honestly was good. Yeah, that bar is awesome. Yeah. Oat and chocolate chip. Yeah. Um, now speaking of food, our subject is McDonald's. Yeah. And they have made a McPlant recently. This is real. Like a, a building plant or a no <laughs> photosynthesis. <laughs> what plant? What I, that's what they call their like they're like factories. Like this is a McPlant. <laughs> That's, it, and it could be i know and then like someone's getting fired and they're like we're having a mcmeeting here yeah we want to talk about your Mcpor- mcperformance <laughs> it's it's the mcquarter yeah mcquarter pounder performance review um, <laughs> um so but no so they did that and another little piece i want to bring up is the ribwidge i want wait, sorry what? i want to know more about the plant though real quick it's a plant-based burger. Oh, I'm a dumbass. No, you're not a dumbass. I thought you meant like they, they like a like a a potted plant. Like they were. No, and no. It was like, like no. And I don't know what it would look like, but it's something silly. Like it's purple. Like it yeah. has purple flowers. They're it's like, um. What's that? What is the um? Uh, grimace. Grimace. Yeah. 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 Maybe that could be a, a like a plant a planter. Maybe we could put a a pothos in it. Yeah. Anyway, um, they have so they have a, a veggie burger now. Correct. Okay, this is the 2020 edition. I just read about it. Is that their first one? I don't know, but okay. I think so. Yeah, that would make sense. They all started to get up on that recently. Yeah. Anyway, but you did want to talk about the McRib, and yeah. I called it a rib, which was just funny because that's what the Simpsons called it. I wouldn't know. Yeah. So there's a huge Simpsons episode on the McRib. Okay. But and they called it called, the rib, which yeah. And it became this whole thing. And, and there's a bunch of these crazy little facts about the McRib. One of them is that when the McRib comes out, it's generally correlated to when um, pork prices are really low. Okay. So it's like arbitrage, but for pork, essentially. So they're buying all this cheap, cheap, cheap pork. Is it their only it's their only pork offering, I would assume. Well, no, there's bacon, I suppose, on things. But yeah, but the, it's the only pork kind of thing heavily based yeah yeah i've never ever had one i would say that they're good they they're scare awful me. but they're good yeah the, and the whole thing's scary but there's no so there's no bones in it no but it's it's like a molded pork thing okay so it's just it's, it's goofy just, it's molded and flavored yeah as such and it's delicious okay it's also long and yeah. skinny which is hey who doesn't like that that's fun yeah um what kind of bun like sesame seed uh, i'm not quite sure huh? but i will say there are some buns at mcdonald's that get sesame seeds and some do not yeah do you know this yeah the yeah. the big mac has a sesame seed bun yeah which is crazy why did they decide to do that because in the production line that has to be such a pain in the ass oh because that's a that whole instead. well no 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 no, no. I'm, oh. I'm saying in the factory where they make oh. the buns because that's an entire separate line I you think know it's what i mean the only thing that has that too well that's what i'm saying so it's like the big mac line making big mac buns is only making that do you remember the big mac wrap no i'd love to hear it i don't remember the whole thing but it's something that ends with on oh, no, a sesame seed bun and like that's oh, okay how, that's how when you when you said that just now i thought w-r-a-p yeah 
they did do they, they did, did do that which is yeah, disgusting yeah. and i don't like me. that either that was during the time when chicken caesar wraps were really really popular yeah and they were like put whatever possible in a wrap and yeah. let's hit it disgusting back to the mcrib bring us back so i have a go on does it coincide with the shamrock shake or am i just imagining that I don't know what that is. I've never heard of that. The Shamrock Shake is another... It's like like how McDonald's just... You know, the McRib is a limited time. Yes. And, and they'll they'll release it and be like, the McRib is back, whatever. Yeah, yeah. It's the same with the Shamrock Shake, and it is a St. Patrick's Day thing where it's like a honor vanilla mint... Yeah, of course. A vanilla mint shake. Do you like it? I've never had it because I don't... Milkshakes make me feel not good. Yeah. Like literally physically. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And also emotionally. <laughs> yeah. And if I were to get a milkshake, it needs to be malted. McDonald's doesn't have to offer that. So. No, they don't. Um, they do offer a McFlurry. Yeah, which I never never got into either. I've had it before. Is it is is no? That's Dairy Queen, where they make the people flip it over to <laughs> not come out. I'm just thinking about them flipping it over and it fucking going everywhere. Yeah, and being like, Are no, you happy? They, don't, they don't flip it over. <laughs> uh, but you can get Oreo on it. Yeah, you can get anything on it. Butterfinger, M and M. Yeah, I don't know what else. <laughs> Heath bar. Um, oh my god, who eats that? The Abel. same people. Abel does probably. Abel. I think that's he also eats food. fillet of fish, doesn't he? He's gonna no. He's vegan actually. So oh. like the Heath bar was in the past he's probably. Vegan. Yeah, we gotta have him on. Um, I would love to. I'm gonna tell him how much we talked about in this episode right now. We go. We really did talk about him yeah. a lot. Now he's one of our biggest supporters. You know, my partners are top tier on the support yeah, list. They're Mike, doing Mike and Abel. They're really doing great. Brad's okay. We love Brad. No, we love Brad. All right. I just don't think he's as corn crazy as the rest of them. <laughs> yeah, Brad should step it up with the support. Yeah. I will say. But hey, it is what it is. Anyway, I'm going to say that the people that eat Heath bars are also the people that eat filet of fish, Oof. which is so weird to me. I think, okay, I want an opinion. What do you think is the weirdest part about the filet of fish? Mm -hmm. That someone would desire to have a fish sandwich from McDonald's. That's weird to me. There's and then, mine's that there's cheese on it. I was literally about to say yeah. that. <laughs> but that is but to me that's not as weird as the person who orders it. Because the person that orders it and says, I would rather have fish than any of the other items on this oh, menu, yeah. you're out of your mind. It is um, it is an odd uh it is an odd impulse to go to a fast food place in general, I feel, and get a seafood. Yes. Very weird. Yeah. Now, I did go through a Long John Silver's phase in high school because it is, I remember it being just amazing. I do like Hush Puppies, and they do have yeah. those there. Yeah. But for me, growing up in New Orleans, I was like, Hush Puppy was like standard yeah. side fare. Like everyone got Hush Puppy. For me, it was like the breading. Because the breading is a thing where... On the, like, shrimpies or fishies or yeah, whatever? Yeah. Okay. Because to me, it, that is a product of industrial food. Like, the way that things can be fried mm -hmm. in, in a restaurant, especially a fast food restaurant, yeah. wild. Like, you can't replicate that at home. That's true. It's very difficult, too. I, I want to, like, pin down what it is about that that makes me so uncomfortable with seafood at and the fast food intersection. Because really, well, it's the same practices with any other meat well it it isn't it's not though because a lot of fish especially white fish is mislabeled and then also As, like like they'll call cod things that it's not oh like tilapia or exactly okay, okay um so that is kind of an issue mm -hmm. and then also the i think that the degree of you, you can't have a medium rare tilapia filet, yeah. but you can have a medium rare steak. Yeah. Like the degrees okay. of, of seafood spoiling is but isn't chicken, a smaller margin. What, do you, don't you think chicken and seafood are, this is pointless. I'm sorry, but I am actually genuinely curious about why we feel this way about these things. Well, <laughs> chicken, it all depends on how long it's cooked as well. Mm -hmm. So like you technically don't have to get chicken up to a certain temperature as long as it is at a lower temperature for X amount of time. Oh, okay. Now, why why would someone want to do that? Who knows? Whatever. That's between them and God. Exactly. Um, but 
with seafood, it's kind of the same thing. And like, you know, obviously we, we, we eat more raw seafood, but seafood spoiling yeah. is weird. Yes. Yeah. I think that's why we're weird about it. Because seafood can turn so quickly, Ugh. whereas ground beef and no. any kind of like land animal, it doesn't turn that quick. Yeah. You know, it doesn't spoil and especially as quickly. Especially at McDonald's where you can leave a burger out yeah. for like a week and it won't mold or whatever the fuck. Yeah. Unless that was proven wrong by Grant Imahara. I don't know, but there was a bunch of stuff he proved wrong. Yeah. And also they changed a bunch of stuff from the 90s into the 2000s. Yeah. That makes yeah. sense. Like they changed practices and whatever. Yeah. yeah. Like there was all the claims of it not being real beef and mm-hmm. all these kinds of things. And it is. And yeah. all this kind of the pink slime stuff. There's a bunch of things like yeah. that. Wow. And all that stuff was. So I actually don't know about the molding stuff, but Google it. Anyway. Um, I wanted to do a segue into like toys again and talk about how. Um, there's like a certain I love the Power Ranger toys. Oh, that were like posable. Yeah, in the Happy Meals, I remember just searching all over for all that when the Power Ranger movie came out. Yeah. I remember searching everywhere for those. Oh, so you could get them all, like all the different ones. Yes. Okay. So that is kind of my only segue here. That's the only one I could think about to do this. Oh my god. So I have a present and I bet that there were toys. Oh my god. The lollipop's not part of it. Can I have the lollipop? You can, right? It's part of no, it. No, I don't want the it. The t shirt's not part of it. You wouldn't want that anyway. I bet there were toys. The t shirt says boy. You don't want that? I can't wear that. <laughs> wow. Of it's... this. Oh my god. <laughs> you talked about Space Jam <laughs> like for four episodes in a row, I think. What a phenomenal <laughs> gift. That is amazing. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm pretty excited about it. Listen to this. God. God. That is a VHS sound. The only thing that would make it better is if the tape was a, fa- a wacky color. You know how they used to do that? Yeah. Like the tape itself yes, would be like yes. pink or like whatever. Holy god. shit. Look at this. Cam. It's amazing. Right? Thank you. You just kept bringing up Space Jam. I know. And we saw I... it in the thrift store and we were like, oh my god. <laughs> wow. <laughs> This is so fucking cool. So anyway, there are probably Space Jam toys at McDonald's. There were. Hold on. I need to look at the... Look at... Look at... We need to... I'm going to take a picture of this to post it. It's a little bit weird. The proportions are insane. Yeah, maybe he is that big. I mean, he's a big guy. I'm talking about um, Michael Jordan. It's just the proportions on the video seem a little bit weird. Holy shit. That's bananas that he someone was huge. like... Print it. Put it. Take it out there. It's fine. Thank you. This is cool because it's going to look cool on a shelf. God, I love this movie. Yeah, yeah, I mean, me I, too. I, I have a VCR player, but you probably don't, so. No, because yeah. I'm. Normal. Yeah, normal. I didn't want to say that, but. Well, anyway. I am. Um, you I know think. what? You know what we need to do, I think? I think we need to go get filet of fish Yeah. And try it for the viewers, because I don't think anybody's ever eaten that. No. I. It's weird that they keep. No one gets Having it. it on the menu, despite the fact that it is not purchased. No one's ever, no. no one gets that thing. It's. I feel like that's a, that is a known fact. It has a tartar sauce on it, I think, too. Yeah, it does. Because how could you have fish without tartar sauce and a slice of American cheese, you know? God, it's disgusting. So, um, <laughs> I guess we should take one for the team. We're going to take one Get for the team. We're going to let you know. Yeah. Um, I'll try a hamburger for the first time. For the first time. Well, I always get a cheeseburger there. Okay. Anyway. Well, now, whatever. We're just going to order some stuff on the I'm menu. just really hungry. We're going to go. Yeah. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> Can't wait to get a soda. Yep. <laughs> it's great. This is like a weird <coughs> version of Keith Eats the Menu. Yeah. But it's like, camera red and get the items that they want. They took the red and made it terracotta. And they took the bright golden yellow and made it more um, muted yellow. Right, no one's ever had fish. It. No one's ever. They're right. gonna be like. They're gonna be like. Do we even have? Do we have? Or are you checking the back? Yeah, I need to go. Um, the fisherman's not in today, so. The fisherman. They pre-batter them, by the way. They do a pre-batter, and they do a flash fry at the warehouse, the Mick warehouse, and then they send it to the to the locals, and then they fry them in the store. The, the high pressure 
um, water pump that shoots it through a, um, a, like a knife and it comes out as like a fry. Oh, okay. like fry. In the shape. They engineered a potato that bruises less, which is incredible. If you look at a McDonald's fry, you'll never see a dark spot. Oh. But if you go get like some shit fries at Five Guys, I hate Five Guys, then they'll, they have shit all over them. There's a lot. There's a lot about McDonald's that's just neat to me. Uh, this one looks nice. Yeah, you know. Are we doing a drive through Yeah. I wish I remember that thing I ate here that I kind of liked. The burger. The soft. <laughs> I like how this is like, we're like, this is new. Like, people get this restaurant all the time. Cam was looking at the menu before we got here. I do a thing. I, I look at the menu beforehand so I can get excited about something I'm going to order. Or like, get a, get a feel for the vibe. And uh... <laughs> you don't know how to do that for this place though. This is, this is the... I haven't been here in so long. Who knows what could be different. Fan favorite filet of fish is on fan favorite. Do you see that? It can't they're, be true. They're trying to they're, sell they're it like so trying bad to that get they're people lying about yeah. it. Evidently, this thing is a hit. That's what. Quarter pounder. I think I want a seven though. The two cheap burger. Oh god, this is it. <laughs> Hi. Can I have a filet of fish, just a sandwich? Can I have an apple pie? A hamburger Happy Meal. And then, can I have a number seven? Diet Coke. A uh, Diet Coke. A uh, caramel iced coffee. And then a uh, four piece uh, chicken nugget. A uh, barbecue. Barbecue. All right. Is that be all? That's it. I'll tell you, that's an order. That was an order. Do you want to like, bring it all home or eat? No. I mean, we can eat some in the car. I'll need some, like, good stuff in the car. The good like, stuff. Well, we should save the filet of fish. We're definitely going to save the filet of fish. Yeah. I hear it gets better in time. There you go. Thank you. For a little man. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> A whole group there. Oh, I do get a thing. <laughs> no, that's maybe Growlithe. That's Growlithe. Arcanine's a big one. Thanks for taking me, Dad. <laughs> I didn't even pay for it. I was like, hey, okay, let's go to McDonald's. You got a job now, right? Look at this. This is the cheeseburger. I'm gonna have one of them. You ever seen anything like that before? Bite. Yeah, I just want one bite. Mm -hmm. That's the pickle I was telling you about. The thing about this burger that makes it so good is that it's so easy to eat. There's no lettuce falling out. That's what makes it so fun. Are we high fiving? What's this? What's going on? I don't know. You're holding a hand up. <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm trying to be constant. Oh, okay. All right, I'm gonna give the Diet Coke a taste because I love it. I'll tell you. Wow, that's it. So if y'all don't know, these are McDonald's French fry. Thank you so much. Thank you. And then the star of the show, the, the pièce de résistance, <laughs> Bolito fish. So we got two things that we wanted to try for you that no one's ever gotten. The caramel coffee. The caramel no iced coffee. That. And that filet of fish. Oh my god. <sighs> the top's better. You gotta shake it. That's the issue. Oof. There's no shake in it. This is the filet of fish. Wow. Unassuming. Oh! Texturally, it's extremely So upsetting. it's so this is an item. I thought this was gonna be like, wow, this is better than I thought. It's so bad. It's not better than you thought. Ugh. Why are you still eating it? Yeah, it's good. It's definitely good. Without the cheese. Ain't nothing wrong with that. It's a lot more mild than I thought it would be. 
It's from an early apple harvest. Mm -hmm. Come back to this back. It's so upsetting to look at. I thought that it was gonna be good. It's not good. After you eat something else, take a bite of it now. Okay. It's worse now. It actually, it tastes actually worse. Why are you... Stop it. Put it down. It kind of tastes like bread. It kind of tastes like nothing. Yeah. Anyway, how's this end? Is that it? Do you like watching us eat McDonald's? Do you have any parting thoughts? Nope. All right, um, make sure to support your local McDonald's. Be nice to the people working there. Yeah, I like think that's a real thought. Tell them the corn corners that shit. Don't know what you're talking about. And...